हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग सो एज यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस इज अबाउट द वी आई टी वेलोर रिजल्ट विच आर विच इज आउट जस्ट नाउ एंड कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन टू ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स हु हैव गॉट द रैंक्स इन वी आई टी वेलोर एंट्रेंस एग्जाम सो दिस इज अबाउट द काउंसलिंग शेड्यूल दिस आई हैव ऑलरेडी प्रोवाइडेड अर्लियर ऑल्सो एंड द सेम कॉलेज हैज कन्फर्म दैट द सेम डेट्स विल रिमेन so all the rank holders up to 1 lakh rank are eligible for counseling in all the four campus so they can do uh, admission in any of the four campus so first phase of counseling is for the students whose ranks are between 1 to 20000 rank so first 20000 students their counseling uh, fees they have to pay from 3rd of may which is today to 6th of may 3 days are given to pay the counseling fees and choice filling will happen on 7th and 8th may so this i told a long time back that counseling or choice filling will happen on 7th and 8th may seat allotment result will be out on 10th may 2024 and you have to pay advance or full fee payment which will be done by 10th and 16th so 5 days are given to pay the first uh, round fees and the last date for balance fee payment will be 24th of may so basically by 24th of may you should be able to pay full of first year fee first year full fees needs to be paid by 24th of may 2024 now let's move to the second phase so first phase i have already covered you can see phase 2 will start for the students from rank 20000 to 45000 and for them also fees payment time is between 3rd to 17th so it will start on 3rd may and up to 17th may you can pay the fees and 18th and 19th may you will do choice filling so choice filling 18th and 19th may and 21st may will be allotment so 21st may you will know what seat you have got and from 21st may to 27th may further you can pay your partial fees which is advance fees and the full fees needs to be paid by 10th of june right so second second phase student all your fees complete full first year fees needs to be paid by 10th of june now i will talk about the phase 3 students same 45000 ranks to 70000 rank students will be eligible for phase 3 Third May is the starting of the fees uh, counseling fees payment, and twenty eighth May is the by the time when you have to pay the counseling fees, right? So this is counseling fees. Now choice filling will start from twenty ninth May to thirtieth May. Two days are given, and result of choice filling will come on first of June. So you will you will know your seat by first of June. between 1st of june to 7th of june you have to pay your advance fees and by 24th june you have to pay your full and final fees to confirm your seat now let's go to the phase 4 phase 4 students are basically ranks between 70000 to 1 lakh those students will be paying the counseling fees only counseling fees by 3rd of may to 8th of june one month time they have given to pay the counseling fees 9th and 10th june they can do choice filling 12th june they will get the results of the seat allotment and between 12th june to 18th june 6 days are given for paying the advance fees part of it and by 2nd of july they also need to pay the full fees of the first year so those are the four phases now the student whose ranks are above 1 lakh they are not eligible for vit vellore or vit chennai those students are only eligible for vit andhra pradesh and vit bhopal right so phase 5 students above 1 lakh rank they have to pay their counseling fees from 3rd of may to 19th of june their choice filling will start from 28th june to 21 june and their seat allotment will happen on 23rd june and after that they are supposed to pay their advance fees by 23rd june to 29th june and the last date for full and final payment of 
first year complete fees will be 7th of July. So by 7th of July, they should be able to complete the full fees payment in the Bhopal or Andhra Pradesh campus. So that way counseling will be over. So just to remind that first you have to pay the counseling fees. You can by paying the counseling fees, you can participate in the online counseling process. And then you have to fill in your choice of campus program and category, which I mentioned in the dates of the previous sheets, right? And once the seat is allotted, it cannot be changed. That is very important. The same seat you have to join. So there is no chance of any upgrade of any course or any campus what you are allotted from today. Next is based on your rank or availability of seat, you will be allotted campus. That is true. And that I mentioned that you have to confirm your allotment. You have to option to pay the part of the tuition fees or the full fees. So the date, total dates were there in the previous each phase wise counseling which I have already mentioned. And regarding the fees information, group A are the branches which are non-computer related branches. For group A, fees are lesser. For group B, it's CSE and the ECE branches, right? So group A fees is 1,76,000 for category 1. What 2,35,000 for category 2, 3,43,000 for category 3, 3,68,000 for category 4 and 3,98,000 for category 5. This is group A which is non-computer, non-EC branches and advance payment, advance fees is also mentioned here. See all the fees you have to pay advance is mentioned in the next column and the balance fees payable is mentioned in the last column right so that is for the group a now if you see on the right side you have a group b also so group b category 1 fees is 1,98,000 category 2 3,7,000 category 3 4,5,000 category 4 4,48,000 and the category 5 fees is 4,93,000 out of this total fees, you have to pay only advance fees initially as per the schedule which I mentioned earlier. 1,98,000 as advance fees for category 1 and 2,253 and 3 lakhs for la next 4 categories. Now if you see balance fees which is the remainder of the fees which will complete the first year total fees. So category 1 students all fees have been paid so they will pay 0. Category 2 students remaining fees is 1,7,000. Category 3 students remaining fees will be 1,55,000. Category 4 remaining fees will be 1,48,000. And category 5 students one, uh, remaining fees will be 1,93,000. So that's the overall information about the you know fee structure and advance payment and the full payments. And the orientation classes are going to start from the third week of July 2024. So that's all overall update from the Valor side. Thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar updates on all the happenings from VIT, Manipal and the other national exams. Take care and bye.